We're going to do a quick hit video. A uh, little bit different style, very quick, one topic, one and a half topics, and uh, let's roll. So what we're going to do today is we're going to take the uh, objects that we have, the IPTs, uh, then we're going to create the drawing files, the IDWs. So I'm going to combine two different IDWs together and then save it as a PDF. So it's a quick hit combining IDWs and creating a PDF. So I've already created one IDW for part number two, but I haven't done it for part number one. So let's go ahead and do a quick IDW creation. Start again, sheet's always large. We're going to edit the sheet down to an A size sheet. With that, we have to delete the ANSI large title block and include the ANSI small ANSI A title block. From there, we're going to use the base drawing, quick hit part one, and one of the new features is that uh, the uh, when you bring in the base view, it automatically creates based on the center. Now, what happens if you have an extra view that you don't use? Well, we'll show you that in a second. We're going to go ahead and create all of our views, and if I don't need this view, I can right mouse click and either crop it if I like part of it, but I'm pretty much going to delete view number two. Now with these particular items, I can grab the edge of the red box, slide them around to put them in the appropriate position. Uh, if I want to shade the upper one, I can right mouse click, edit the uh, view, and put the shader on, and we'll have a shaded isometric view. Now, I'm not going to go and do dimensions. This is more about the actual IPT and combining the IPTs in the PDF. We're going to go ahead and save it and go from there. So we're going to save part one as the IDW. Hit save. And so now we've got part one and part two. So I've got it part two, which is basically a sample block. We also have a simple IDW of part two. Now, we've got two different IDWs. They're both open, and we can combine both of them into one IDW. So I'm going to take part two's IDW and combine it into part one. The easiest way to do that is to right mouse click and copy the sheet. I can then come over to part number one, right mouse click in the browser, and paste it. You'll notice that it has a lightning bolt because the sheet hasn't been updated. So I can click on part number, or excuse me, on sheet number two, double click on it, and now it has updated sheet number two. Now I can, uh, and this works just like any other IDW at this point, we have now updated and we are back to the actual uh, component. I can shade the uh, sample block, add dimensions, and so forth. When I go ahead and save this, it's going to save it as part one's IDW. And do we want to replace it? Yes. Uh, it's telling me that it's open, that I can't resave it, do as a save as. I have to hit the save button instead because it's already saved as that name and I would create a redundant reference. What about creating PDF files? So to create a PDF file, we're going to go to the big letter I again up on the top, go to export, and we're going to export it to a PDF. Now the one thing about this is that if I create the PDF part one, it's going to create just the single sheet PDF that I'm viewing it. I have to go to the options, have to choose all sheets. This will take all the sheets in my IDW, and you can package as many sheets as, you, as necessary for your project into the IDW. Or I can choose specific sheets and I'll put them to PDF. So maybe you want to give just the big picture sheets to the client, not the details just yet. So you can control what sheets get printed. Uh, we can remove object line weights. We don't want to do that. We want to keep the colors. Uh, we can also control the resolution. Again, resolution uh, deals with the uh, 
the detail and how much detail, how many jaggies you may get, so forth. So I can increase the resolution if I want a higher resolution. 400 for what we're doing here today is fine. And we'll hit save. Once I've saved it, you'll notice that we now have two PDF files. Or excuse me, we have a single PDF file, but there's two sheets, sheet one and sheet two. Remember that we brought part one, excuse me, part, yeah, the sample part into the orange part, part one, part two. So we brought part two into part one. And so you can see that the second sheet is listed as the second sheet, shows up as sheet two of two in the lower right hand corner, which is what the goal is, is to have the appropriate sheet number, sheet positions, and so forth. So there's your quick hit creating a single IDW file and outputting to a PDF.